What's up guys, Brandon and Jeremy here from Friend of RC, and we're here to review the uh, not so brand new Axial AX10 Scorpion. This is a ready to run rock crawler, entry level, uh, comes with 2.4 gigahertz controller, and uh, I'm not totally sure if you can even still buy this. I think you can still find it out there yeah. uh, in new in a box, but certainly you can find it used. Um, you know, first impressions of it, it looks cool, but uh, as always, we'll jump into the technical and uh, let Brandon take it away. Well, it is uh, kind of unique for us to review one of these after already owning a uh, competition crawler like the XR10, but we can quick speak on some of the technical things about it. So our XR10 is a motor on axle. This is a single motor. I'll turn it around so you can see. One motor here with transmission and drive shafts going out. It's four link suspension, count them, one, two, three, four. The top one being a Y-link, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. um, steering servo just on the front, optional all-wheel steering. And the battery location is up on top. Something to be reconsidered, yeah. um, especially if you're looking for just all-out low center gravity. It does have a twin plate aluminum chassis, which we like, and then it has titanium nitrated shafts, which is a great feature. And then the real bead locks, I believe, yep. if I remember correctly, because I remember ripping these off once yeah. <laughs> and putting them back on. Yeah, it's a, it offers a ton of value. It's also LiPo ready. And, oh, yes. uh, yep. you know, it's, it's reasonably water resistant, uh, but again, you know, don't dunk it. Yeah, you don't know. go looking for <coughs> yeah. water. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, cost of operation, it's a great price point with all the value. I think I picked this up at uh, the local hobby store. I must have been, I can't remember what I paid, but I remember just seeing it on the shelf being like. I think it's right around the $200 price point. yeah and I was like dude I should just buy that because it's everything I need ready to go yeah take it out and go and uh, I brought it home and then we shot a running video with it which you guys can see over on RC Nightmare uh, that our RC Nightmare channel our sponsor channel and uh, you know for fun factor I'd say uh, I'd, I'd give it oh check that let's go back to durability totally fine I'd say it's a slow moving object I mean yeah right it's uh, it's fine we didn't break anything you know yeah, the drivetrain held up well. I mean, for the we were running a two-cell lipo at one point. We were worried about that at first because it's all plastic drive shafts, but it held up just fine, no mm -hmm. problems there. Um, and we did have a few tumbles and a few falls with no broken parts, so mm -hmm. durability. What I, I think adds to that on this particular model is the shell. It's kind of a large shell for a rock crawler, and it really covers almost everything. So when you're rolling, the yeah. shell's taking the hit instead of you knocking on a link or on your frame. Well, one of the things that I would say is probably nitpicky, but I. I don't care for the side mount uh, body pins. It's annoying for me. Like, it's just a, I don't know, it's just a personal preference. That body was, <clears throat> excuse me, a total pain in the ass every time we had to take it off. It's hard. You can't see all four yeah. mounts at the same time. Um, but, you know, otherwise, fun factor, I'd say uh, I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, unfortunately for us, we had already built a, an XR10 with, We're like, spoiled. Du dual motors, all Tekken powered. I mean, it was like hard to, f if I was, if we're going to be out crawling, yeah, we're going to be out in our XR10. But, you know, trying to keep in mind the price point, this is $200, and I think the XR10 all built up, that's over a grand. I mean, when you got the dual motor setup, mm -hmm. right. we're, you're well over a grand for a, for a decent competition setup, maybe 1500 for some people. So, yeah. um, it was fine. It was definitely fun to tool around. It wasn't the fastest. Uh, in terms of just like getting from point A, getting from one thing to crawl over to another, you know. Yeah, it, and I think that was kind of a byproduct of the power setup they chose on here because they wanted to set it up for the NICAD Nikomoto Hydrate guys. So I think it's a 55 turn motor. Yeah. And that's, those are good for NICADs and the Kamala Hydrates. I won't overdraw them. Mm -hmm. and, and we're coming from dual 45 turn three cell light bulb XR10. So it's like, you know, that's yeah. a hard comparison to make. But it's, it's a value aspect, you know, like you said, you look at the XR10, you can kind of see from our emotions, we're trying to hold back because we're not like, we weren't thoroughly impressed by it because we already had a competition call to, to yeah. compare it against. But if you look at the price point, I mean, if you replace these with the cash ca stack of cash that we had to pay to get them, right. value-wise, you can't really compare at all. I mean, it's not even close. It's There would be six of these to one XR10. Yeah, the uh, I think part of... Exactly. I never really want to talk too bad about things. I think uh, it's because we try to pay attention to budget and, and cost mm -hmm. and things like that. It's easy to say this thing sucks compared to an XR10. Well, no kidding. Yeah. Um, you know, it's fine. Everything on the ready-to-run, like, crawler level, whether it's, 
you know, um, what is it, like uh, the Creeper, the Venom Creeper is one of them out there. Like, Mad Torque is Mad another Torque. one. I mean, it's all fine. I mean, it's none of it's great. If you're expecting the world for 200 bucks, then you're going to always be let down. That's yeah. just a fact in room, RC. Room for improvement, as always. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't buy, you know, I would definitely say if, you want, if, you, if you're straining for me to say something negative, I don't know if I would stick a heck of a lot of money into upgrading it. I think it's a great way to decide if you like crawling right. at all. Right, yeah. Really. Um, it's a good way to teach yourself how to upgrade crawlers properly. Again, we, we're spoiled, I and mean, we've had that XR10 basically stock. Mm -hmm. Haven't had to touch anything. It was a phenomenal performance machine, but it didn't teach us a whole lot in that respect. One of these, you know, you can start out crawling and see where the weak points are, where its limitations are, and maybe start to upgrade down the road, teach mm -hmm. yourself how to do it. Yeah, and you'll definitely, right, driving one of these, you'll definitely develop a list of things that you would change mm -hmm. if you move on to like an XR10 kit. Like, if you look at our XR10, we have the battery mounted front over the tires. Here, this is crazy. All you're gonna do is tip over every freaking time. Like, uh, too much weight over, too high for the and center weight. Like, if you start to really crawl over something, you, now you've got the weight of the lipo helping you tip over backwards. Yeah. So it's it's really not great for that. Um, but for like free form kind of tooling around on some big rocks, we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, for for performance, I'd give it like a three out of five. You know, it was yeah. like you said, it was a 55 turn motor, great. Uh, but I think timing was important too. Like if we had bought this when it came out and hadn't driven any other really nice crawlers. We might say that, hey, this thing's pretty yeah, awesome. We wouldn't have that chip on our shoulder yeah. from the XR10. But yeah, it does perform. I'd give it the same thing, three out of five. For the price point you're getting, it performs beautifully. It does exactly what it's supposed to. Lipo but, compatible for under 200 bucks, yeah. too. That's not common either. And I believe 2.4 gigahertz yep. out of the box. 2.4 gigahertz that's, included. That's amazing, amazing <clears> price point for all those features. But of co again, you know, if you're looking to crawl competitively this is not what you're going to be buying yeah. so don't don't expect it to be that this is just for somebody who wants to go slow and drive over things for fun yep. and you can do some upgrades you can put some new tires on it and you could you know you i don't know 55 turn is fine i think i prefer more like 45 turn but that's just personal preference yeah if you're going lithium then you can go up to that and get that extra speed yeah uh it, you know would i go back and buy it again probably not not it's you know it's not that great it's not bad, but it's just not that great. I would probably pass on it, and I would probably look at something like um, maybe even like the Losi competition crawler for this price, where you might pay 125 bucks more, but you're going to get something that's significantly better. Right, right. The XR10 kit, you know, it's about th was about 250 or 300. But you got dual motor setup then, you're you're over a grand. Yeah, you know? it just adds up so quickly. And these let you keep into the hobby for a lot cheaper price point. Yeah. Let you enjoy it without, you know, breaking the bank. So uh so would you go back and buy it again? I would not buy it again. Uh, I probably would look at something like the low C comp comp crawler now that I've done crawling a little bit and you know it's a good experience for you to hear me say this because I was I'm complete new when it comes to crawling mm -hmm. and started on X R ten. So now I got that knowledge of, you know, if I want to get into this, I'm going to have to spend a little bit more money. Mm -hmm. But this is something fun. You can go with friends, bash around, find piles of stuff to climb over and still have fun with it. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions about uh, what we had to say about the XR10, ah, Axial AX10, post them up on down below. Or shoot on over to our forum at rcnightmare.com. Thanks. See you guys.